Hey there folks, Ultimate Peter here. Today we're going to talk about how to install Windows 10 using a USB drive. Pretty quick and simple, we'll run it through here. You're going to want a USB thumb drive that's 8 gigs or larger. Uh, 4 gigs is probably going to be too small, even though the image is 4 gigs, you usually end up with not enough room. Uh, I don't have a thumb drive that's big enough, so what I'm actually going to use here is I have a little micro SD card and a little dongle that I put it in and then it just sees it as a thumb drive so I'm gonna stick that in here alrighty <clears throat> now that's whatever was previously on that and we will be formatting it within our uh, tutorial here so I have my ISO of Windows 10 this can be the real version or uh, one of those developer preview copies or whatever. Now I'm going to have you jump over to, you can see here, rufus.akeo.ie. Rufus is just a, a thing for creating bootable USB drives. And you'll scroll down here to download. I got the portable version. I don't see why I would want to install this on my system and register it when you can just run it as a one-off application portable. Go ahead and download that. I've copied it over here. All right, so we will run Rufus. You can see that here. My device is drive E, which is the USB drive I've just put in. Uh, you're gonna have MBR for BIOS or UFI, which makes it bootable. And then right down here, you're going to make sure that this is on ISO image, create bootable disk using ISO image. Now I'm going to browse, can head right to my desktop, call this folder Windows 10, and here we have it. I'm going to select that ISO image, and it is as easy as that. I'm going to click start. It's going to tell me that it's going to destroy all data on that USB drive, so don't have anything important on there beforehand. It's going to format it. And so it's going to go through and might take a while because uh, copying over the four gigs from the ISO image takes quite a while here once it gets to that part. Uh, otherwise, that's it. You get done with, uh, with Rufus here. You eject your drive. Go ahead and put it in the computer that you want to install Windows 10 on and make sure that your BIOS options or UFI options are set to boot from a USB stick or some uh, computers will have a boot option screen where you choose what you're going to boot from. Go ahead and grab that USB drive to boot from and that's it. Just run through the regular Windows install and you know you got to have your own license key and all that kind of stuff but that's it. Easy as that. 